bit of rain is the least of worries for a fully-fledged SUV like the Range Rover Sport. Today, the challenge is provided by its Japanese rival, the Infiniti FX30D. Infiniti is Nissan's high-end marquee and only recently debuted on the European market. On the design front, the two could hardly be more different. While the Range Rover Sport has bold edges, the FX30D has smoother contours and a more elegant appearance, unusual for an SUV. Contrast that with the trademark Land Rover nose. With the FX30D, the lines converge at the back. It has a sloping rear, while the Range Rover Sport possesses a classic straight back. Looking at the Infiniti from the back, the rear lights reach around the sides. In addition, a roof spoiler underlines the car's sporting aspirations. Compare that with the Range Rover Sport's more reserved look. The bold contours continue on the inside, and the wood inserts are a nice touch. They fit in perfectly and are testimony to excellent workmanship. The seats provide sound side support, off-road as well. Very welcome is the Range Rover's relatively limited amount of interior gadgetry. It does fine with just the necessary knobs and switches. The Infiniti's interior feels smaller due to the exterior contours. It likewise features wood trim. The seats provide similarly good support, but are designed more for the highway than for off-road terrain. The cabin has an over-the-top futuristic feel. The Range Rover Sport is based on the Land Rover Discovery and thus profits from all the experience of that model. The Sport designation stems from the model's more dynamic handling, itself a product of smaller dimensions and weight. The Range Rover offers precisely what our car tester Matas Kuret expects from an off-roader, a high seat position and a great driver's view all around the vehicle, plus the bold body contouring. You can also pay extra for a system that has a series of cameras installed, he says, which relay what they see to the display in the center console. Matas likes the knob in the middle that allows you to switch between different terrain settings. It makes off-road adventures less daunting for the uninitiated. This terrain response system is fitted as standard in the Range Rover Sport, but our car expert notices the difference with the Infiniti FX30D. One thing you need to forget about when you get into Infiniti FX is the notion that you're sitting in an SUV. It's almost like being in a regular car, with one difference. It's a very big car, so you have less of an overview. But the high-class Nissan does have its positive sides as well. The Infiniti boasts an extensive range of features in the premium version, says Matis, and it's all free except for the metallic paint job for 900 euros. You get cameras on every corner, a park assist, sat-nav, a multimedia interface for your iPod as well as USB sticks or an MP3 player. You're spoiled with everything your heart could desire, he says. The 3-liter diesel is a brand new development from Infiniti, and although it has a little less power, Matis thinks the car is quicker off the mark than the Range Rover Sport. And the Infiniti is similarly up to date on the safety front. The FX comes with six airbags and an intelligent speed regulator. We tried out the S Premium version of the Infiniti FX30D. The V6 diesel engine delivers 175 kilowatts of power and according to the manufacturer consumes just 9 liters of diesel over 100 kilometers. It makes the dash to 100 kilometers per hour in 8.3 seconds. The Range Rover Sport also has plenty up its sleeves, including 8 airbags and off-road features galore, such as air suspension, active roll mitigation and hill descent control. 
These, combined with a terrain response system, make the Range Rover Sport a real off-roader. The Infiniti is no comparison and is simply not equipped for the task. The Range Rover Sport comes with a 3.0 TD V6 engine delivering 180 kilowatts, with official fuel economy 9.2 liters for 100 kilometers. To sum up, the Range Rover Sport is a proper off-road vehicle, while the Infiniti is merely a pretender that should really stick to the roads. That said, the FX30D does have all the important features fitted as standard. The Range Rover will cost you extra in that department.